Hey everyone, today we're going to do this pretty princess party face paint. For the bulk of this design, I'm going to be using the Tag One Stroke Sophia's Crown. First, I'm going to load up my 3 4 inch flat brush with the one stroke and starting right in the center of the forehead, I'm going to pull a loop up and back down and then I'm just going to use the tip of my brush to fill it in. Then I'll come to each side and make two curved lines. There you can see straight down and curve it around, straight and curve it around on both sides to make the crown design. And next I've reloaded my brush and I'm just going to make a series of three loops heading in toward the outer corner of the eye. Next, I'm going to take my Boost Mandala stencil and I'm going to hold it right in the center of that loopy design and just above and using some Wolf White and a Krivolin sponge, I'm just going to pat on the white and it makes a really pretty design underneath. Next, I'll be using a custom gem cluster that I made and it's got some Maron Ad Gem adhesive on the back and it's in the same colors as the one stroke. I really like to do that to match my one strokes and put it in the center. Next, I'll be using some Micam FX F7 Dark Pink on a Kabuki brush in order to add some pink cheeks to the design. I think this really makes the princess look look super cute on little girls. Now I'm going to be using some Wolf White and I'm just going to swirl around a curved line and come to a point and then I'll come in and loop it back around just to give it um, an extra outline detail. And I'm going to do the same exact thing on both sides attempting to make them symmetrical on each side. I'm so sorry my hand gets in the way a little bit there, but you'll be able to see it when I do the other side. I'm just coming back in from that first loop that I made and making another loop going the opposite direction and curling it around. And next with a very well loaded brush with some Wolf White, I'm just going to go in and make some little dots at the tips of each of those swirls. And then a series of three dots heading down from the center gem. And then I'll come to the side of the eye, pull down a teardrop, and then connect it. And then two smaller teardrops right below. And then to tie it in with the dots coming down in the center of the forehead, a series of three dots heading in just underneath the eye on each side. And a series of dots heading in uh, toward that center gem cluster on each side as well. Next, I'll take my petal brush loaded with some Wolf White. I'll wipe off the tip and I've added some Krivlin Creamy Rose. And I'm just going to pull down some petals coming down from the top of that loop shape. Um, in retrospect, I probably would have just left that part out. I, kind, I think it kind of covered up the design. So then I just went around and with a number five well-loaded brush, I just added a series of dots all around the edge of that top loop in order to make it um, tie it in with the rest of the design. And then I'll add a series of dots coming in above those swirls that I made as well, just to give it some extra detail and make it look extra fancy. And that's pretty much it. That's the bulk of this design. This one's a pretty fast one. It takes about five to seven minutes to complete, and it's so pretty for any princess design. Hope you guys like this. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.